Learn everything to do with masks to exceed your potential in graphic design. I'm Carl Coach at FX, coaching you to exceed your potential in graphic design. Today we'll be looking at using masks and why you should never use the eraser. I even made this crucial mistake loads of times before always using the eraser, but I'm going to show you today why you always need to use masks and how to use. If you are new, make sure to subscribe and all of you can go down and like the video right now. Tell me in the comments if you are currently using eraser or masks before this video. So how masks work is they don't show certain pics but it doesn't mean they delete them which is really useful because the eraser actually deletes the pixels, the masks don't. So how do you do it? So on Photopea, get a picture, so I've got this picture of Mason Mount. So go to the bottom which is called add raster mask, it's sort of like a rectangle with a circle in the middle with the layer you want selected. Make sure the thumbnail mask is selected and then if you want something to be removed make sure your brush is black and if you want to paint something back in from when you've erased it with a black brush have a white if you want opacity being like not not 100 percent gone you can change it to a gray brush you can adjust the size of your brush like you normally can and you can also adjust the hardness so you don't have a, so, uh, a sharp edge. To also customize the mask you can double click on its thumbnail and here you'll have two options so you have density and feather. Density is the opacity of the mask and feather is about reducing the hardness and helping re reduce sharp edges. A bit like what a hardness brush does. So there's also a vector mask. So what's the difference between these? Well, let me explain to you the difference. A raster mask is a grayscale image full of pixels which determines what is shown, whereas a vector mask is all being determined from vector shapes which are converted to grayscale images. So it's all cool knowing the difference in theory, but let's actually put this into practice. So we're back in photo P with the same image and we're gonna add a triangle vector mask. Go to the pen tool, make sure your pen is set to path with stroke and fill turned off and then click out your triangle so it's three points and then go to layer and vector mask mask and then click current path and you will see what the vector mask does personally i would use clipper masks for this but it's always useful knowing your software inside out and you can do all of this on one layer so now you know how to use raster masks, you don't need to use the eraser, so your changes are not permanent. Click the video on screen now to watch me use an eraser in my banner and you can comment down below that I should have used the mask. Also comment on this video if you will swap to the masks or are you staying with the eraser. D stay on the lookout because there will be a brand new graphic design video out next week.